welcome back again guys to my youtube channel and uh, thank you very much for keep watching on all my videos and uh, also thank you very much for subscribing and uh, today i have uh, received a, uh, this is a meager uh, DLRO10HD this is for digital low resistance uh, ohmmeter this is uh, instrumentation uh, uh, equipment uh, used in the platform uh, to uh, test uh, some uh, of the lines and uh, this is not working and uh, this ended me for uh, repair so this is a uh, meager brand okay. this is uh, DLR01 Zero HD. Uh, this is the start. Okay. They send it here. They send the send this here for repair. So this is the uh, power on. Just give a uh, yes, charging. Uh, this is a 220 charging, and I have here the uh, charger. So the, actually, the complaint of this is uh, it's not charging. So just put the charger. Okay. So I have a I have a charger. Just make sure that uh, I have a total key here. Just put. Okay. This is my plug. is okay this is the voltage I have here now in, in uh, the workshop so supposed to be when you put this charger this light is on this charging uh, indicator is uh, on so now still have battery but uh, as they told me uh, it's not charging I don't know what okay so we will just check now why it's not charging. We'll open this. Ah. So just remove this cover first. lro 10 hd okay and here is the c1 p1 and uh, p2 c2 okay so we'll try to open this now uh, someone remove this already someone is all open try to open this it's too screw on here. This equipment a little bit pricey. Not a little bit. This is very very high price. And this is a like a special tool only for the uh, instrumentation guys uh, who is working on a uh, rig or uh, installation. Okay. Still, I have two 
battery is already uh, uh, low in uh, current it's not charging much more in maybe so if you have uh, like this equipment test equipment and uh, now you can see okay you have uh, okay this is the battery okay 6 volts okay this is the battery and you have the this is the uh, socket it's easy just press this two side and now I don't think I, I don't think I have problem with the fuse yeah because I have power but I uh, will still want to measure this Okay. So fuse is okay. Battery and cover okay so I have uh, two fuses also here one here and one here so just make sure that this two fuse okay okay so both of them is okay they're all okay so we need to do the inspection now and okay. see the inside Maybe somebody opened this already. Oh, my goodness, you see that one? Okay. Somebody tried to repair this already, maybe. Okay, it is removed. And board this. What happened to this? Okay, just return it back. big boy now why oh, you don't like to come in In. Okay, so this board was out and the socket also was out. I don't know for what reason. Okay, and why this is cut? Oh. 
see this is the uh, pin lock of uh, of the board just fell down uh, maybe this unit fell down and have uh, a huge drop on the floor or whatever then this board scalp or somebody just tried to fix this one and remove it so now what I will do just try this battery okay a very quick test I'll just put the charger huh and he just go outside I didn't see I yeah he's here only so now we'll connect this Okay, but guys, be careful. Huh? Uh, this is a Miger. This is not Miga. Uh, it's not a Miga tester, but uh, this is like a high voltage also. So now we will turn it on. Okay, it is turning on, and try to put the charger. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. So you see now, the charger uh, indicator is already on and the battery is charging. So uh, what I'm thinking now is really the battery have problem. Uh, really need to, to uh, renew the battery or replace the battery with new one. Because what happened maybe is when you charge and the battery became full in a short period of time and when you use it it will just only a short time then it will totally discharge and uh, on that reason uh, you cannot use this uh, as like uh, uh, 50 percent maximum uh, time uh, of usable uh, for the testing or doing the troubleshooting so that's why this end is here and maybe someone also opened this and tried to fix this but uh, he didn't uh, succeed maybe so what i'm thinking now is uh, really this is the uh, battery uh, problem is uh, low ampere uh, battery already so we need to replace so when uh, Okay guys, I will just continue this to uh, how to remove the battery and to replace, so you have the idea, okay, I'll just, okay, I'll remove this one first, uh, and this will be the uh, replacement of the battery, so you can bring this out, okay, okay, so I have the thermal uh, sensor also here. So if you want to replace this, it's easy. Okay. So oh, this is the socket. Okay. Okay. So you just remove this. The other one also here. Okay. I will just return it back because I'm uh, I don't have new battery. But uh, this is how you replace new one. Okay. Mhm. Mm okay. So slide with Thomas. Here for long time, this is a programming tool for Motorola, but old one. What is it? I never use this one. You, 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 I use it last time. This one? Yeah, I'm, that's why I'm looking at it. I don't know where is it. Ah. It is there. But this type is there? No, no, no. Really? What is Which this? one? It's battery? But no. it's different type. Different type? No. Uh -huh. Now it's here. Huh? Mm. So what you will do now is... Uh, if you have new battery, you just return this back, this tape, because this is the sensor for the uh, charging of the battery. Just return this back here, tape, tape it back. Okay. Even here, no problem. It's touching also here. Okay. Just make sure that this sensor is touching the battery because it will shut down the the uh, the uh, charger if it is getting overheat. So now you see how to replace the battery and now 
we will just try to do the charging and you can determine that this I will go around the 10 to 11 o'clock right? Okay. 11, 11, 11 radius away? So, no, tomorrow you are already there. We have already 11 also tomorrow. I don't know how many special time will go tomorrow. Okay. There is also 11. Captain 11, please to Captain Ajapur, there is some 11 also ready to go tomorrow. Okay. So, this is the so charger. We have to do two, three surveys, Cap, already. One day. I'm okay. I'm going to go tomorrow, sir. Yeah. This is a Uyghur, 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 but uh, we, you tell me there is no survey, only change, uh, right? Yeah, but still, I need time, I need to okay. go also tomorrow. Maybe Bruce can go with us. No, no. Well, you are taking Bruce No, now. no, tomorrow cancel, you see? this Because he tell me weekend, this weekend, and then the suddenly call, no, we will release vessel to the evening for tomorrow. So Bruce can do it? Yeah, the programming Bruce can do it. But is there uh, your attendance need? No, that attendance is uh, for a radio survey. No, no? Survey, survey. It's a crew board. Only change uh, MMSA number and all this. Which vessel? 105. And there is only uh, which we Anyway, I will be, I will go, no problem. We'll see. After that, I can go to it. Okay. 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 So, this is the... Oh, shit. See, very hot. This is the regulator and uh, he's charging the battery and it's very hot so this is not uh, okay turn it off where is that before tester somebody taking before tester from your room no idea i put it here yesterday but it is not getting there so just try to remove this and check why it is getting very hot Guys, uh, be careful about this uh, because there is still running voltage on the capacitors. So, just make sure. Okay. Okay. Let's pull out. And okay. So, we'll just remove this board here. Uh -huh. And this clip should be. Press so it will not damage. You're making video, huh? Mm. <laughs> okay. So this is the uh, regulator. This regulator is getting very, very hot, and uh, we'll see. Just discharge the. Uh, this is how many volts? One. One hundred volts. Okay. And just try to open this.
put paste on this. to be if we have a uh, this is IRF uh, 8 IRF 840 IRF 840 uh, 840 A okay Uh, this is uh, now I show you how to open the battery and replace the battery so it's uh, everything uh, you can do by yourself now so, and uh, I will just return this back and uh, I'm sure this is uh, working and I just replaced the battery new one and I'm sure it will be working fine. Well, guys, uh, this is what I can show you if you have your own equipment and you are afraid to open it. So you can do it yourself. You just uh, check my videos and uh, then you can have the idea how to open. And uh, just when you return back this, uh, by the way, just make sure this pins, okay? This, this pins is coming back here correctly okay one by one okay so someone opened this one and broke all this uh, see this is a uh, like uh, uh, what you call it I see this one when you open this guys just press this side okay there is one lock here the side this one here in this portion so you press the uh, you do like this clip it with the, the uh, long nose then you can, it's easy to come out okay so this is the lock okay mm. so you should press this so, so it will not broke okay guys uh, thank you very much for keep watching on my youtube channel and uh, please subscribe uh, on my uh, uh, channel and also like and please share also to everybody so they have the knowledge and uh, it's make our life easier this is what i can do sharing my knowledge to everybody okay guys thank you very much for keep watching have a nice day bye bye now this is already charging the problem is just only uh, uh, when I open this uh, it is uh, battery empty actually now see now it's just only uh, maybe five minutes and it is already full so and uh, uh, you can determine if the battery is okay when you do the uh, loading out uh, I mean you put you give load and 
and uh, the battery will uh, discharge. See, we will try to do the test. This is 1000. Okay. And we'll try to press. You see now? It's dropped. So it means uh, this is a fake uh, current uh, that was uh, uh, charged on the battery. He is uh, telling that he is already full charge, but actually the current is very low. So this is the indication that you need to replace your uh, battery. But the main thing was uh, this is not charging, so I just returned back the socket to 220 AC line. And now I have the indicator, so now it's also charging. Okay, guys. Uh, so again, I can I already show you how to remove and uh, replace the batteries inside and open the circuit board. What is inside? So it's up to you. Uh, you have the idea already. Uh, hmm. So here is the uh, some uh, tips on this. Okay. Okay. Okay.